Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Golgothan, and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program Career Mode. In the last episode we went to Minmus, the second moon of Kerbin, and collected some green dust and got some science points and got some big engines and some big fuel tanks, and I think it's about time we build a ship that can go to another planet. So that's what I have here. Um, I've got some, the what are they called, the skipper engine, which is not great. On, like for takeoff I wish I had the mainsail which is the next step up from the skipper but uh, it should work and then we've got the big tanks we got three big tanks we got uh, 12 boosters around the outside um, this the big tanks here are asparagus staged of course with the middle the last stage has some extra reaction wheels on it to keep us from going out of control we got of course the tail fins on, or the the winglets on there as well um, we got another skipper engine here because it's really good for transfer stage. And we got two small tanks and a big tank. And then we have a tiny engine, one of these 909 liquid engines. Um, and a medium tank here with another reaction wheel on our final satellite. And then this will all break off, this little engine and everything will all break off with the final satellite being this little ball of science right here. It's going to be the science bay, the mystery goo, we got our thermometer, and our, um, what is this, the atmosphere thing, which probably will not be used now that I think about it since we are just going to be in space. But And then I've got our big uh, dishes, our big uh, radar dishes, our transfer, what are the communitrons, comms DTS M1, the big uh, sail satellites. All right, so I think we're gonna take this thing to Duna. So let's look at our launch window, or our transfer window alarms here. Duna, 47 days. It's a pretty long time, considering I believe this is only like our seventh day, or eighth day maybe, um, in in this career, like in real, t um, in Kerbal time. So, um, 47 days is a long time for our guys to be sitting around doing nothing, but they can do it. So, I'll set the tra oops, that's a mistake. I want to set it, but I want to set it for uh, 0 minutes, 28 hours before. I want there to be about a day of uh, time for us to wait. So, if you don't, um, for as far as transfer windows go, I believe we need Duna, if I am 100% certain, um, we want Kerbin to be here, right on like the 90, d right with the, the sun, but blam. And we want Duna to be about here, somewhere around up here. And that makes our transfer easy. Um, and it's, yeah, because we want to be, we want Duna to be in front of us, because Duna is moving slower than Kerbin, because Duna is on the outer, uh, further orbit. So let's, uh, Let's time warp as we watch the planets go around. We can time warp from the launch pad, which is nice, at full speed. So now we will wait the 20 days. As we slowly catch up to Duna. Gonna get you, Duna. And Duna is the Mars um, equivalent, I guess, the Mars analog. So I gave me myself some time so that we can, first of all, launch during the day. And second of all, um, that uh, we can get up into orbit and get ourselves placed without having any issues. So let's do that now. I'm going to do the usual fast forward through the launch process um, and then catch up with you again in orbit. <laughs> 
So when I was doing this launch, it became abundantly clear to me that we need the main sail engine. It is so much more powerful, a way better uh, launch ve or launch engine than these skippers. These skippers are a middle stage engine, and man, did it take a lot of effort to get this thing into orbit. Um, as you can see, the angle I'm at, most of this in, like circularizing t burns and all that is ridiculous. That's because the ship is so heavy versus how weak these engines are. All right. So then we want to, where's our retrograde? Retrograde is this way. We want to launch prograde from about here. This up to our delta V numbers. Give me the maneuver. There. All right. So according to the calculator that I am using, I can just eyeball it pretty much mirror. Look at that. A little bit closer. How close can I get us? Oh. I just need the intercept. I can do fine fine t tuning from there. All right. Delta V that the calculator says is right about the same as the Delta V that mine says. Huh, who'd have thought? Find our node. And we shall begin our journey to another planet. I did not action group any of these things. I am a failure. Time warp utilization. All right. Add alarm for the maneuver node. And let's time warp. Yeah, I'm excited. We haven't been to a new planet ever. And this is going to be it. This is going to be us going... Well, we're just gonna going into orbit. But still, exciting. Okay. We just got to start burning now. So let's get that delta V out of here. Watch as our AP grows before it becomes a pop bubble, and then we have our escape. But I'm confident we will burn through probably the rest of this stage before we get our intercept. We have this whole stage and then this little stage for fine tuning up here. There. It's growing real fast now. There's a moon intercept. And out. Let's get this intercept down here. Intercept. Oh! Missed it. It's fine. That, I would, did not expect us to have this whole full tank left. Uh, 
such a beast to flip around. That's what is that? It's just a glitch. We have our, we got our intercept. All right. Delete the node. We have a seventy-two day journey before we reach our destination. So let us lose this fuel. No, we'll keep this fuel tank until we get there. But let's add a sphere of influence change alarm in Oh, well, I guess that's Let's just watch as as Kerbin disappears for a little bit. We'll watch this blue marble pop away. Fare thee well, Kerbin. We are still in the Kerbin system. I have the... We're still in the sphere of influence of Kerbin. There goes the moon. wonder where Minmus is. Pretty cool if we did a min miss flyby, but I don't think we are. There's min miss down there. That's min miss that little spot. You probably can't see it. Alright, here we're coming out of the sphere of influence. Now, 71 days till we enter the next sphere of influence. I'm going to put it on semi-slow time warp until we can no longer see Kerbin. There we go. You can still see it. You can see the moon over here. There's Kerbin. Farewell, Kerbin. For this vessel will never see ye again. Wow. Such a tiny dot. It's almost gone. You can see, from, from, oh, it's right there. Still see it. Oh, man. And I can't see it anymore. We are at full time warp. Can we see Duna? Where is Duna in rel relation to us? Out that way. Cannot see Duna. Should be coming up on us sometime soon here. behind us um, where is it is it my target I'm making my target let's see if I can't find it point at it Should be entering its sphere of influence pretty quickly here. But I still have no idea where it is. Is it up there? Should be right along this line. There it is. There it is. Found it. There's Ike. Ike. 
All right. So we need. Oh, I did that all wrong. that up. Oh. There we go. Oh. That one. Okay. Head maneuver. Stop. Stop. Okay. It's bending. There. It's coming in. And we want... Oop, easy. I can counter. Bring the periapsis down pretty low. Duna has an atmosphere, so we can't down come down super low, but I can bring it down to below 100. If I can get past Ike there. Okay, there we go. Just like, nope, that's too far. That's in the atmosphere. Oh, can we scrape the atmosphere? Alright, I'm gonna F5 quick save this. is I am going to attempt to arrow break on Duna. I know, I'm a psychopath. But I quick save, so I'm not a complete crazy person. Come on, let's get it up there on the node. Alright, here we go. Let's get to that maneuver. One hour. See, I should have done some fine tuning further away from the sphere of influence, but I was so focused on trying to find Duna and I set the alarm and didn't think about it. Oh well, can always do better next time. But still, gonna be a successful mission. Uh, I hope so. Right. Give myself a little less time because I know that once I kill this engine or pop off the next one, it's going to go a lot faster. There we go. Decent. We do not have parachutes on this thing, so this thing will not land successfully. Alright, I think we're good. Now we just wait until... Wait until we get to into the atmosphere and see... How well we air do it did our arrow breaking. Oh, actually, from what I'm reading, Duna's atmosphere doesn't begin until 41,000. So I can slow us down even a little bit more. Ooh, that's bad. That's not good. That is death. Delete this. It's just going to be annoying. But I can put us coming in at, like, 30. 
And that'll do a little bit of arrow breaking for us. There. Now, let's approach this big guy. Come on, you red beauty. Come on. Let's get up in there. Oh, here we come. Alright. There she is. Let's do some science while we're up here, huh? Observe the materials bay. High radiation some cause stuff to glow. Transmit. Observe the goo. Feels right at home. Transmit. Uh, toggle this play in vacuum. Log pressure data. Can't do it. Okay. How about this? Toggle display. Log temperature. Temperature scan can't be done. Maybe it's because we have no power. There we go. Alright, it's done. Solar panel can close, or thing can close. Can we not? No, okay. So let us get into the atmosphere, and then we can do some science in the atmosphere. Goodness, we're we'll coming in doing science on the sunny side. I think. There's Ike. Alright, we are officially in the atmosphere. This should be moving, yep. So let's do some sciencey things. Vacuum? Nonsense. Well, certainly in some atmosphere. Well, it's space over Duna. Alright, still worth 70. Transmit, I suppose. fast. So it just allows me to transfer multiple things at once that by having multiple dishes. I just don't really have the power to support that, which sucks. We're not in vacuum anymore. We're most certainly in the atmosphere. Alright, well let's do some time warping and bring this down. You know what? I should be burning retrograde to help That is super easy to do. Let's get this down to like a hundred. Good. Now I'm going to do a full orbit around. There we go. Should be able to go all the way around. So I want to, once I come around on this side, I'm going to be dipping deeper in the atmosphere and hopefully I can get some readings. I've got enough thrust, I believe, if we do start dipping too far, that I can get us back out. We need science. Okay. 
go further around. Oh, that's fast we're gonna be able to go. We're just skipping along the surface. Look at these beautiful rocks, mountains. There's Ike again, right behind us. Maybe if I have enough fuel, I'll pop this little guy over to Ike and get some science from him in the next episode. He's not that far away, and Duna doesn't have that massive of a um, gravitational pull. Keep an eye on this. Don't want this to get dipping down too far. Alright. We're almost at our periapsis, and that's when I will try to do more readings. We've got some decent amount of drag going on. I believe it says that I'm still in vacuum. And if I... If I observe the bay here... In space near Duna. Transmit. Well, I'm just going to park us. I'm not going to be able to get any atmospheric science because, well, can't get us that low into the atmosphere. So let's just get us out of the atmosphere over to the apoapsis. Well, let's do a little bit of retrograde here. Get our apoapsis down to 100. Well, well, we'll do it at 50. We'll do it at 50. Because that's still safely out of the atmosphere. That about does it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please click like down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see other videos like it. I am Golgothan, and I will see you next time.